Hey everyone, Technomancer here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to transfer all of your data from an old phone to the new iPhone 17, 17 Pro, 17 Pro Max. So let's get started. So here, as you can see, I have a new phone. If you haven't turned it on, you just want to press and hold until the phone turns on. Now, once the phone turns on, what you want to do is usually on your old phone, if you have an iPhone, really simple, you want to go into your setting, go to your Apple ID account here, and then click on iCloud. And then you want to turn iCloud backup on. If you aren't backing it up, basically you want to back up this device to your iCloud. So here, there's an option specifically with iCloud back turned on. Click on backup. So this will back up all of your data to your iCloud account. And then I'll show you how to transfer it over. Now, if you don't have an iPhone as well, I'll show you another way how you can move all of your data, especially if you're moving from Android to iPhone, you can also do it really easy. So back up your device here. So once you back it up, you still want to keep this phone around. We're going to go ahead into the new phone and select our language and then your country and then how you want to appear. So I'm just going to leave it as default. And then we're going to set up without another device for now. And then we're going to go ahead and click on the option for our Wi-Fi here. You need to connect to a Wi-Fi. So I'm going to go enter my Wi-Fi password here. Now, once you click on connect to Wi-Fi, just let it connect. It's going to say it takes a few minutes to activate your phone, but this process should be quick. So, and it's really important that you finish the backup here before proceeding here. I already have a backup here of this on my account, so I'll show you how that's done. So here, as you can see, the data and privacy, you're going to hit continue. You're going to select it here for adult, for example. Face ID, this is where you can use to unlock your phone. Use Apple Pay and such. You want to set it up, or you can only set it up later. And then passcode, you want to go ahead and enter a passcode, for example. Here, I'm just using a random one, but you can use any password. Make sure it's, of course, secure. Now, let's go ahead and set this up. And here is where you're transferring your data. So what will happen is, if you have another Apple phone, like an old iPhone, you can use the iCloud backup. Or you can also back it up to your computer through iTunes. Either of these options will work. So as you can see here, I'll use from iCloud backup. But this is where I mentioned, if you have an Android phone, you can actually use the Move to Android phone app from your Play Store and then follow the step to do this process. So you can do that. Now, if you have backup on your computer, like a Mac or PC through iTunes, you can also do it through that method or with another phone, iPhone if you have that. But the easiest will be from iCloud backup, which we showed you how to do iCloud backup on your old iPhone. And then you're going to start by signing into your Apple account, the same account that's on your old phone. So here I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now once you enter your password, you're going to go ahead and click OK to continue. And you might get a code. Here I'm going to put my code in. And once you are ready to go, you're going to see Agree to the Terms and condition. I'm going to hit Agree. And then this is the process where the transfer happens. Basically, everything we backed up on this device, right, that is successfully back up all of our photos, videos, uh, documents, messages, all, everything that's been backed up here, you can see it will back up onto this phone so I can have all of that data over. So you can see here, it's letting me choose a backup. So if you have multiple backups, you can choose the most recent one or another one. So we can do this process. So as you can see, I backed it up here. I can see other backup as well. I did it at a different date. So whatever backup you want to do it from, for example, I just choose one of them, the most recent one, which you probably want to choose. And then you're going to, it's going to do the backup, basically everything transferred over through iCloud, of course. And you can see your apps and data, your settings that you had and your wallet as well. So we're going to continue. And then if you want to use Apple Intelligent, I'll set up later here because that's not required. This one just says it has a cam camera control, which again, you don't need action button, which is a new feature, or at least you can customize it. So I'm just going to select, uh, custom, just continue. The, this step won't really matter. As you can see here, it's loading. Still, up top, you can always see the status theory. I'll set up later here. I hit continue. And then restoring from backup. So this is where the iCloud restore is happening, or your data is being restored. This process could take a couple minutes. Sometimes, depending on how much data you have in iCloud, could take 10, 15 minutes as well. You want to make sure that through this process, your phone, the new phone that you have, has enough charge to complete it. So you might want to connect to a charger if you're running low on battery, because you want to see this process all the way through. 
After you do that, basically everything you see will show up here. So I'm going to wait for this to finish, which, like I said, could take a little bit of time. So after a few minutes, um, your phone might go completely black or something. That's fine. You might see it load up like this, and you just keep on waiting till this completes as well. Again, it took me about four or five minutes to get to this step, so just to give an update. And after a few more minutes, you finally get to this menu, and then you swipe up, and then go ahead and enter that passcode if you set one. And as you can see here, store, restore complete, meaning we're going to hit continue. You can set up face ID, or you don't have to. Here, I'm just setting it. You can always set up later. Uh, make sure if you have cellular, you can uh, basically, if you have cellular, it's going to transfer over. If you didn't set it up, you'll get this message where you can set up by scanning the QR code that you would get from your carrier for the eSIM. Or you can set up later, which I'll click now here. And finally, we're going to go ahead and skip this welcome intro, hit continue, and then get started. And as you can see here, my phone has now been basically copied over. Apps are being downloaded that I had on this phone. And I should see things like photos and videos come up. It does take them take a little bit of time, so make sure you're connected to a good strong Wi-Fi and you can see the things come up here. So it will take a moment, but photos, videos, messages will start to come up as things are being loaded up on this phone here. So you can see here, store, restore is in still progress. So again, like I said, it takes a little bit of time for it to download all of the data because there's so much to download. But that's how you would back up all your data from an old iPhone to a new one. I hope this video was helpful. So please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks. See you guys next time.